front this, the front this way, front this way. <laughs> We're on a Mayweather's gym because we got the printing sorted, which means we can go and have some fun. We're gonna be doing some stuff on the road though. We're gonna get these slides organized. And it's check out, sweet. we're gonna check out how a true champion sets trains. his life up and trains. Exactly. It's what gonna be awesome. Three frames for the sexy six. Yep. Number one. No, no, the sexy six is for the six figure. Yeah. So people oh, awesome. are gonna watch out before they start programming. Yeah, cool. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, it seems like they shouldn't be able to do that. Like, come on, we gotta. I mean, we gotta. We gotta come to some middle ground here. Yeah. <laughs> So we're literally here in Floyd Money Mayweather's gym. We're giving a getting a tour by his childhood friend, which has just been incredible to look at the psyche and the mindset. So, so, so this is our so the Delahoya fight was the first fight in this gym. Like before that, we didn't we didn't have a gym. We kind of just like uh, trained wherever. But he knew how big or magnitude that fight was from, so he actually like got a gym like so we could just work. Just, Constantly, you know, all night and all that. So that green one is like the, you know what I mean? The WBC is like everything. So we had that one then. So Floyd beat 21 world champions. All apparently, thing, that's 17 of them. Wow. We're literally in here and there's kind of one thing. One main thing that stood out for his secret ingredient to why he is where he is today. You know, being one of the best boxers of all time. And that secret is work ethic. You know, one thing that, that Floyd's childhood friend said was he's actually off camera, quite a chill guy. He's normal, he's kind of like everyone else. But when it comes to getting shit done, he's a cut above the rest. Meaning that he literally trained, this is his training gym, so he'd come in, he'd start training, he'd train for about four hours. He'd start off by getting in the ring, going 10 rounds or something, he literally goes over, smacks the bags for a while, comes back, does another 10 rounds. And he finishes every single workout after he's been doing it for four hours by doing 2,000 punches on the bag down there. And then literally going for like a 10 mile run at the end of his workout. So in terms of what his childhood friend said was his secret to success, it was he simply outworks everyone. And when you see him on camera, yes he has that confidence, yes he has that crazy charisma, but it comes from an inner knowing that he's willing to do more than anyone else to be successful. He rocks up to a fight knowing that he's got more miles in his legs, more times that he's hit a bag than anyone else. So it gives him that confidence to know he was he was born to win the match. You don't you don't accidentally beat 21 world champions. They had to do something to get to that point. You dig what I'm saying? He slipped and just no. Yeah, he just <laughs> no, that was actually epic because just hearing Floyd's childhood friend talk about the mindset and the psyche behind someone that is literally the, pretty much the best boxer of all time. It's just a joke. Yeah. Like, it was an amazing experience. Um, I love the fact that when he does his workout, he's just known for outworking everyone. Yeah. That was sick. And I also like the fact that it was just, you know, he's he's a normal guy. Mm. He's chilled, obviously with a couple of extra women on his <laughs> on, yeah. on each side. But um, yeah, no, he's just a normal guy. But when he gets in the ring, he's got so much confidence because of the fact that he worked hard. He worked so hard. Yeah. Awesome. Love Good that experience. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Is there like a pick two pack? Uh, no, you can just pick whatever you So if you get a pick three, how many boards do you get in total? It depends what guns you About to shoot some guns, that's so weird. You're not gonna shoot. Oh, it's not gonna shoot, yeah. Okay, always out from the group. Yeah, okay, you're gonna look through the group and you're gonna put the dot in there. Yeah, no. And then you're gonna squeeze the trigger. What? Okay, so I'm loading it, put your ears on. Go. Go. Holy fuck. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's crazy. Make your 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got all the tricks, yeah, yeah. right? Pretty big already, so. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's always like, "Oh, you're, you're like so scary. Like you're gonna beat people up." I'm like, oh, I'm like the nicest person. <laughs> like I, I'm not like that. Fighters aren't like that at all. So that's my like athlete page, and that's my actual Facebook. Well, you can lock the page yourself if you want quickly. I've been doing everything on my own. When women have everything handed to them, it's a lot easier to win fights and to knock girls out. They'll literally, they'll like a girl hit somebody like a couple times, and the ref will just come in and wave it off. And it's like, what? Like this is boxing. You got to knock somebody out. This is the hurt business. You hurt people. Like, yeah. and so I would never want to win like that. I would want to win fair and square. If I knock you down and you get back up, let's keep going, you know, if not, then, you know, but I'm, I'm a lot younger than all these women. So I'm really like building my power up. So yeah. that's what I've been working on and stuff. Yeah,